Doctors were certain they understood memory until one man's broken brain forced them to rewrite every textbook. His name was Henry Malazin, but to science, he was simply patient HM. In 1953, desperate to stop his crippling seizures, surgeons removed parts of Henry's brain, including his hippocampus. The seizures faded, but something far stranger happened. Henry's memory shattered. He could recall his childhood perfectly, but every new moment vanished like smoke. He'd meet his doctors, have a conversation, and minutes later, act as if they were strangers. Tests revealed an impossible truth. His short-term memory worked, but he couldn't form new long-term memories. Psychologists were stunned. This proved memory wasn't one unified system, but a complex network. The hippocampus wasn't just important. It was the gateway to new memories. Henry spent decades as the most studied patient in history his mind a living laboratory. Scientists realized memory had multiple types, procedural, episodic, semantic, each stored differently. His tragedy birthed modern neuroscience. But here's the haunting twist. Henry never knew his own legacy. Every breakthrough, every textbook written, he forgot it all. The man who changed science never remembered what he'd done.